Okay, uh, one of the things that's neat about the Autech is these mitter cloths. And uh, I found out that term comes from back from in the old days, they used to actually use mitts to clean the top of the car. But uh, I like this, and our customers like it, over a top brush, because it's literally like wiping it. Uh, but it was making a god awful noise. Just real clanky, couldn't figure out why. Uh, so, I don't know if you've ever looked at the way the mitters work, but they they kind of sit up here and they're, they coil up based on a, that, that, that little compression of the air right there is what makes it lay down and it rolls on these rollers. But the, when they move, they move based on this uh, motor up here. So I'm gonna show you what I found. I've already fixed it, but I'm just gonna tell you what I did. Climb up this ladder. Oh, goodness gracious, okay. Okay. So when I came up here, I saw this piece like that. And you can see what it's supposed to be I probably have too much grease in there for sure, but it's supposed to be a bearing in there and um, it just banged itself loose. And uh, just so you know, uh, a couple things I did to make life a little easier. I put tape where the threads go, just in case, so I got it exactly back the way I wanted it. The other thing that you don't realize is on the inside is uh, some Allen wrench screws. You can actually just undo this. What I did is I just used a uh, vice grips here and I used a, a regular uh, adjustable wrench there and I just you know opened it and, and, and unscrewed it and this slid out but it slid out with this attached to it and you can see this is is that so this is actually part of the bearing uh, and so this was on there pretty good so I took the, the allen wrench screws out and then I actually had to put this in a vise really 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 tight and then unscrew the screw from it uh, it's not threaded, it was just was on there really, really good, uh, which is probably why it wore out. From what it looks like, these Allen wrench screws are meant to be loose. I may be telling you the wrong thing, but it, it sure looks like they're meant to be loose because when you when this moves, you can kind of see this, see how it kind of rocks? So it's meant to slide around, and I think what happened is this got fused to the screw and uh, started sticking with it and just basically rubbed out the, the bearings. But so this is what I got. I ordered from Autech. Uh, they sent me that, and this actually came out too. And I put the new one on there. It was actually easier for me to unscrew it out of this end and uh, then take this in the in the workshop and, and vise this thread and, and, and pull it off because it was on there really, really, really good. Um, while you're up here, uh, make sure you, you get a grease gun. I got a really cool one from DeWalt that's uh, battery operated, and you grease, grease this. I just greased it, that's why it's so messy. Grease that, and each, one, each one of these. Uh, and then I would also make sure you grease these or it'll get really, really noisy as this thing spins around. There's also another place to grease on this side, which is the emitter. That's one you, it's easy to overlook when you're doing your regular grease schedule. And uh, so there's one on each side. And there's actually one more hidden, if I remember correctly, when they install, there's one under here somewhere I gotta find it, but I know there's one more kind of under this panel. I think it's on this side under the panel, but I gotta find that because at some point that's gonna bite me in the butt. But anyway, here I am on top of the Altec. Uh, I'll just let it run too. I'll do another video and just let it run so you can kind of hear it. 